now obedience and obedience home and abroad and a lot of people that were really in support of the labor party have decided to hands up after the show of shame they call the convention trust me in that convention aburi actually re-elected himself as the 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 orga of the party and then you know major stakeholders were not there peter obi was not there alex oti was not there most of the lawmakers were not there it was a scanty you know convention and it was actually a disgraceful thing for us because at the end of the day we know the people that are interested in labor party we know the amount of obedience interested in peter obi and all that and imagine if that what they came to a consensus and they wanted to do it right but they, they, it would have been a massive massive crowd there but because of greed and selfish interest they had to secretly form a convention as fast as possible and they re-elected themselves now using saying that they peter and o, peter peter obi and alex oti 2027 nobody is going to they are going to be the flag bearers of the party both for abia state governorship and then for the presidency for peter obi but a lot of obedience have said look our hands are washed out we will not be caught up in this mess because we are trying to make a difference we have promised to make a difference we are people that are willing you know that came out as a movement that you know are, are there to actually question characters question you know the the integrity of these politicians and we can't afford to be supporting a party where the same thing we are fighting out there is prevalent in the party the same thing that we say political politicians are greedy selfish they put their ambitions first before the people and all that and we are attacking them on a daily basis bringing out their eels and everything and then we come back to a place where we say okay it's supposed to be a party that makes a difference and we see the same thing consistently rushing to do a convention so that you re-elect yourself that is a criminal act I'm going to be showing you everything and I'm going to show you the reaction of obedience to this. But before I do that, let me quickly tell you that there is one man that I always like talking about. Although he's not an obedient, he's not in the Labour Party, he's a, a, an APC, you know, you know, lawmaker, Senator Adam Soshimole. Oshimole has, has been somebody that has dragged the attention of a lot of obedience, a lot of well-meaning Nigerians on his, the radical nature of his 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 activities in the in the national assembly standing up to actually always speak the truth to power something that we elected all those are lawmakers to go and do there oshomole has been the one actively dropping it back to back attacking anything he feels that is wrong always people based always people oriented he might not have done well some people might have their own you know problems with him but right now he's the only one that is speaking up confidently against the evil and the ills in that house let me quickly show you a video and then when i come back we'll continue in the case of edo by the time i left government it was about seven percent my envy was that of uh ondo state or ikiti that was about five percent at that same time i know of states that had as much as 50% out of school population. And my argument then, which is the argument I will make now, it cannot be the truth that every governor can afford to buy the same bulletproof car. We can afford the same state-of-the-art government house, but we cannot afford to pay 50% subsidy to ensure that the child or the poor go to school. The bodies of today were the beggars of yesterday, Allah Bank Kababu. We need to, we need to. We need to. Now you've seen it right. This is exactly what we elected those labor party lawmakers to go and do there to stand up and speak up when things are not said right to stand up and defend the people to stand up and make corrections to do the needful so that the life can be better for the people and in fact it was a promise that they gave to us that they were going to actually carry out
but we have seen the impunity we have seen that these people all they in fact they just deceived nigerians use that medium to get there so that they can actually manipulate the whole thing and we keep saying that we keep saying that but it seems as if nobody is listening but this is the job this was the description of the job they were supposed to carry out there and then every single time it is from one error to another they sit down there those sides doing nothing and that is why you see some of us are healing ah no uh, this man is doing very well he's coming out he's speaking the truth he's saying it the way it is he's doing the job very responsible in carrying out the duties and it doesn't matter whether he's from APC, it doesn't matter whether he's from, from Labour Party, it doesn't matter whether he's from PDP. All that matters is that he is somebody that is standing up and is speaking the truth. And you cannot blame Aburi. Let me quickly dive into the issue. When we have Labour Party lawmakers that are deceptive too, they deceived the people use that medium to enrich themselves do a lot of things they in fact they are now very very active in the criminality going on in that house because silence is consent why wouldn't aburi have the mind to go and carry out a convention a secret convention and instill himself as a, as a leader for the next four years when the people that came out as lawmakers are there chopping life Anyway, let me show you what happened in the Labour Party convention today. And then let me quickly show you the reaction of obedience to this. And then we'll come back and we'll wrap this up. Now let us take some of the reactions. Ike God said breaking in what has been described by millions of consigned Nigerians at home and in the diaspora as a kangaroo national convention held in Inewi and Abra City. Embattled Mr. Julius Aburi has been illegally returned as the national chairman Nigerian opposition level party. Following Aburi's reemergence as the national chairman of Labour Party amidst allegations of bribery, forgery, and misapplication of party funds levies against, levied against him, I'm hereby washing my hands of Labour issue like Poncho's pilot. Now, Guy Man said, a party convention in a hotel, this is disgraceful. Labour Party had the opportunity to show the world why they are the main opposition. Six million votes in the last election and we end up in a hotel, this is disgraceful. Now, Samuel said, Labour Party is not a serious party. The party is filled up with power drunk political jobbers on the ground. I disassociate myself from anything Labour Party hence fought. Now, what good citizen said, Obedience should part with Labour Party. I've never seen this level of greed before. Julius Abre is the worst human being you can ever think of. Labour will surely go back to the trenches. These are some of the reactions. Let us get back to the video so that we can actually wrap this up. Now you've seen it, right? Peter will be not present. Alex Oti not present. Major, major people that belong to the party, you know, not representatives, not present, and all that. And it was just a scanty amount of people. And they did the election and instilled themselves all the criminalities that went on there. I don't really want to go deep into it. But the major thing is this: 
a lot of people after they saying okay peter Obi, you need to start thinking this thing very carefully do you really want to continue under this party that you know are there to actually destroy the small legacy you have built because obedience are already saying we have hands up from this mess called the party if they cannot fix themselves if people cannot walk up and say okay abure no you are doing it the wrong way we are taking charge of this party and agbadonians are there laughing at us saying that small party now we know if you control but look at the show of shame a party that has grown to the level where you know it has been it has it has started becoming recognized heavily this is supposed to be the force that is that is you know in the middle of apc and pdp fighting both parties because the people you know identified with the party the people did everything to raise the party because of the candidacy of peter Obi. and then at the end of the day money money because of what you stand to enjoy in that position you have forgotten yourself completely you have lost every value you have you have lost you have forgotten every single thing you spilled out to the people in campaign grounds you have forgotten that you have told yourself this is a party that will stand out it will not be like the other parties and since they before you know confusion upon confusion one tragedy or another in the center of it all a lot of crime on aburi's head saying that he's told here he did this one and how can you it in, in fact the whole thing is very clear when people are putting pressure like that they get something with the day right with that matter but the obedient movement have never been a movement along party lines so we are not afraid anyway peter will be go tomorrow will full on you will see say that party will still rise because now nigerians now go flood the party but it's a shame on labor party is a shame on them they never even finish they never even finish the rise oh now just small rise the rise nine confusion day like this criminality day like this imagine if they become a huge party where they have produced more than six governors seven governors you know a lot of house of uh, uh, national assembly members and all that waiting for happen now blow they want to blow each other for inside that place convention for don't turn into wrestling small party like this they don't start the, the it, confusion everywhere they have refused to allow the place to rise that's why obedience are not even paying attention to it it's quite unfortunate that um, these things had to go on like this but i believe that we will still move forward and the quicker they try to settle this in-house crisis the better for them or i will advise peter will be to move our forge ahead too and look for somewhere and let us actually follow him because it's our principal and that is what we are there for in fact he should create a party of his own standing as an opposition anyway let me stop here guys please subscribe to this channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified i'm obedient and i'm useful please drop your comments below really love to hear from you you know fingers crossed let's keep holding them responsible and see how it pans out god bless you i'll see you next time